Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, we're going back to the Camaro. So I recently picked up a set of these speed engineering stainless steel headers. These things are dirt cheap. It's like 300 bucks or so for a set of actual stainless steel headers. Anybody who's went out and tried to price engine swap headers knows that they're normally $1,000 or more, especially if you want stainless ones. Wow, how are these so cheap? Well, they're not actually designed to fit the Camaro, but the internet says that with just a few modifications, they'll fit right up. So I'm gonna take these, throw them on the Camaro and document and see what it takes to make these speed engineering stainless steel headers fit in our 1970 Camaro swap. Supposedly these things will fit quite easily. What I've read is that all we have to do is put in a new O2 bung in a place where it'll actually work and these things will bolt right on and fit great. Let's see. I can see where the O2 sensor bung needs moved because if we look up at our automatic transmission here, if we put an O2 sensor in there, it's gonna stick out and it's gonna hit whatever pipes come out of there. Coming over to the passenger side, this is also fitting pretty well. It's kind of not in there perfect, but you can see there would be plenty of room for this thing if it weren't for the same O2 bung on this side. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in as well. I'm pretty excited to get these things in. This is a big savings on the swap, and on top of that, it's got cool long tube stainless steel headers. The absolute easiest way to solve the O2 bung problem is to just plug them up and then move the O2s like this far off of the headers onto the actual exhaust instead. So we'll put an O2 bung in the exhaust when we throw it up there. On the end here, I'm going to go and weld V-bands. Picked up these V-bands off of Amazon from some company called Evil Energy. I'm pretty sure that just stands for reasonably cheap Amazon place from China, but they look pretty decent, they're cheap and we can weld them right on. So we're gonna go weld them on, and then we'll bolt the headers on. A few moments later. So there we are. V-bands are all welded up on there. You can just use one of these. Little O2 sensor plug. Plug the header. Tighten it up, and then bolt it to your engine. I think that's gonna work, I think it'll fit. Boy, that looks nice on there. Now we'll get the driver's side header attached and see how well it fits. I've got the headers on both sides. Looks like they don't hit anything, so that's cool. Here's what the fitment looks like from up top. Can't see that it's hitting anything, including the frame rails down there. This is on the driver's side. Uh, here's the passenger side. I'm looking and I don't see it hitting anything from up top either. So let's throw the Camaro back up in the air. We're gonna check around all on the bottom, make sure it's not rubbing against the frame or anything like that from the bottom. If it's all good, we'll lower it back, throw all the bolts back in and boom, we have some headers on the Camaro swap. First look under the car. It's either happiness or sadness. Let's see what we see. Oh, dang, there's some sadness. So there's a little bit of work to do over here. The V-band flange here is hitting the body ever so slightly. Here's what I'm gonna do. I've done this trick quite a lot. We're gonna mark this with the Sharpie, cut it at a slight angle to where it kind of, instead of welding it back like that, we weld it back like that, which is just enough to cause it to go ahead and angle downward. It's not a big deal, it's just kind of annoying to have to do it. Over on the driver's side of the car, there is room for days. It hits absolutely nothing, it looks like. So this is a completely viable header over here. Technically, you have to do nothing to it to make it fit correctly, except bolt it on, put a Put a plug inside the O2 sensor. I 
Time to do some cutting. And it's cut. So you can see, probably do something about like that or so, something like that, but first steps to get the header bolted back up so we start seeing about what, what angle we need here. There it is, cut off. Pretty sure you'd have this problem where they put a V-band on here or not. So I retract what I said earlier. You will have to be able to weld at least a little bit to get these to fit, but not much. It's probably something you can contract out if you don't have a welder already. So there you go. That's basically what I was gonna suggest that I do once it gets up here. You can see that gives a pretty decent amount of clearance above. It's not a huge detour. And now we can just go weld it on the bench, on the TIG welder, throw it back on, and I think this is gonna go on for the last time. There's the header, of course, and then here's where it really changes, right here. So you can see it was going straight up, and now it's kind of curving down a little. It's not a whole lot of a transition, so it should be okay. Now I'm gonna throw it in the car and see if it fits correctly or not. There we go, we got one in yeah. and two in. Now what you never want to do is say that's pretty close and put a wrench on it and start uh, cranking on it. These are aluminum heads, it's a good way to ruin the threads. So instead you can see here where I've just threaded them in pretty far in by hand, that's good enough. Now I'll go ahead and tighten these up and hop under the car and make sure it's not hitting anything. We're not touching anything. There's plenty of room here. Let's see. Lots of room up here. Goes all the way around, doesn't hit the body. If we had the V-band on, still plenty of room. Wouldn't hit anything. Going up through the car, you can see there's still, you can see there's still room everywhere around the body. And then just in case, we can just celebrate and be happy over here too. So that's it. The headers will fit after that. That's some really mild modification for what amounts to some really nice headers, or at least they sure seem like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish bolting these headers on. So if you've liked this episode, go ahead and click that like and hit the subscribe button. We'll have plenty more coming on the Camaro in the future, including putting the drive shaft on as well as finishing the entire exhaust and eventually getting this thing running. Have a good day.